What's going on, guys? It's O Dogs Gaming back here with another MLB The Show 20 video. And in today's video, we have a whole bunch of new stuff you can do in Diamond Dynasty. We got the fourth and in program that just dropped out. We, we're going to get to that in a minute here. First, we're going to look, look at the new, brand new set 23 headliners packs. The 97 overall Cy Young, Brett Saberhagen. There's the stats right there. He's got a four-seamer, a change-up, a curveball, and a slider. Looks like he'd be a pretty good card. Don't really know if I... I don't know if I'd want to get him or not. He's not really that... He doesn't throw that hard, so I'm not sure. Anyways, that's his card. Now we're going to get straight into the fourth and end program. And this... It's going to go for four weeks... And they've extended it to 900 points this time, which I think is something that a lot of people have been looking for. Anyways, as you can see, we got 101 points already. I'll show you guys how we did that so quick. So the be best way, all the ways to get points, I'm going to go over that right now. If you do the fourth inning showdown, you get 70 points for the fourth inning program. Missions are win 10 games and rank seasons for 15 program points. Win 10 games in ranked seasons, battle royale, or events, you get 15 points. And if you tally 20 total bases with rookies or future stars players online, you get 15 points. Fourth and in conquest map, you get 30 points. We'll take a look at that here in a second. And there's collections where you collect the voucher, you get 75 points, which I did there because I had the voucher. And then there's this collection here. Collect 15 rookie series or future stars series players. And you earn 20 points for the fourth inning program. So basically what I did was I did both those collections, got me 95, and then I did two daily exchanges. And so far I got a show pack, gold equipment item, selfie time home run celebration, this drums icon, bat slam unlockables, and a set 10 headliners pack. I'm not going to go over all the rewards, I'm just going to go over the main stuff. We got an 80, they added diamonds into the... Uh, 150 program point pack as you can see we got 87 Ted Williams right there looks pretty good from 1939 when he was a rookie got an all-star 86 overall all-star from 2015 Blake Snell or not Blake Snell Chris Archer card four seamer slider change up and a two seamer there's the stats right there probably not going to make most people's teams at this point in the year And we've got the Ryan Braun, 86 overall rookie from 2007. He has 125 contact and 114 power versus left. So I would definitely recommend him as a pinch hitter versus lefties on your bench. I know that he'll probably end up being on my bench. Very good bench bat. Probably wouldn't put him in the start in the lineup, but oh well. And now down to the three bosses. We got 96 overall Cy Young Felix Hernandez. He's got a sinker, a four seamer, a sweeping curve, a change up, and a slider. Five pitch max. Looks like a very, very good card. Then we've got the 98 overall signature series Joe Torrey. Could play catcher first and third. Diamond hitter, diamond defender. Looks like a very, very good catcher. I. I would say that he's probably better than Posey. I I think I'd rather have him than Posey. 106 vision. That's pretty. That's pretty good vision. And he meets the threshold on the power for the perfect perfect home runs. And we get the 96 overall prime Jacoby Ellsbury can play anywhere in the outfield. Diamond hitter and silver defender. He's only got 52 arm strength, so I don't know if I put him in center field. Probably put him over in left field. Uh, it's just it's 52 arm strength. It's kind of low. He's got 96 speed, 96 stealing. Gonna steal a lot of bases. Got high vision at 96. Power he hits for power against right, but he's a contact guy against left. Pretty good looking card, but uh, my my opinion on the three bosses is Felix Hernandez and Joe Torre are the two best, and Ellsbury he's just. I just don't think he's as good as Hernandez or Torrey. Most people are going to pick Hernandez or Torrey, probably. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm not sure who I'm going to pick yet, but... 
then they got rewards going all the way up to 900. At 600, we get a semifinals choice pick between either Ian Happ, Jeff McNeil, or Lucas Giolito. So that's interesting. That'll definitely bring the price of those cards down and make it more possible for everybody to get Blake Snell. And then from the 750 up to the 900, they just got show packs like crazy. So that's all the fourth time program awards. Now we will take a look at. I can't really look at the showdown unless I start it. I'm not gonna start it right now. I might try and make a. I might try and make a video on the fourth inning showdown later. I'll think about it. Depends on how quick I can. I'm gonna be grinding to try and get 300 points today. But the XP and stuff seems to be the same. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and five normal missions, and then you got a mini boss here. And then you play play five more, and then you got the final boss. So there's just the one mini boss, as there was in the third time program. Set up the exact same way, probably same XP and subs and all good stuff like that. So you complete the fourth and show it in, you get 70 points towards the program. Now we'll take a look at the conquest map, and then that'll pretty much wrap things up in this video. Trying to make it short and sweet, because most most of you are probably just here to see the news. Anyway, so the fourth inning program, we have five strongholds that you have to take over. I'm not sure where the hidden pack rewards are, but I guess you'll just find it when you play it. So we got the Angels, the Mariners, the Athletics the Rangers and the Astros so it's all basically the five AOS teams so if you capture the Mariners stronghold in two turns or less you get two show packs I definitely want to go for the Mariners stronghold first um, you get ball as I have it back for completing the whole map so yeah that's basically well I went over the fourth inning program the conquest the showdown the headliner packs and that's pretty much it for this video um, later on I'm gonna have all kinds of videos going up today tomorrow the next day for the next few days there'll be lots of lots of brand new videos right now I got a whole bunch of packs saved up so we'll probably have diamond collecting episode 4 out tomorrow and then probably have another episode out on Sunday because there's just going to be so many free packs to get. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. That's all the news and like I say, that's, thanks for that's it for this video like I say. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and thanks for watching. Hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed it and see you in the next one.